May God bless you, may God keep you, may the Lord protect you. Today, I want to declare that you are more than a conqueror. That you are more than a conqueror. The Word of God says that in Christ Jesus, we are more than conquerors. What today is a struggle for you? What you call humiliation today? What you call a difficult moment today? What you call a problem today? God will make you call it a testimony. Alleluia. I see the Lord turning a page of your life, and in this turning of the page, He takes away shame, He transforms shame into honor. He transforms tribulation into victory. He transforms tears into testimonies. Leave in the comments your prayer request, and the area of your life where you most need to experience this blessing, this grace that I am talking about here. Here, I talk about the things of God. I don't talk about religion. If you are not yet subscribed, come join this prayer chain. Subscribe. So, whenever I post a new prayer, you will be notified. In most of my prayers, I am fasting for causes, and the sooner you are notified of the new video, you can enter and leave your prayer request, so you will be presented in my fast, okay? Also, give it a thumbs up. This helps our channel be recommended to more people, making our prayer chain reach more and more people. I will give you something that God spoke to my heart, and then we will pray. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 9 to 11 it says, Once when they had finished eating and drinking in Shiloh, Hannah stood up. Now Eli the priest was sitting on his chair by the doorpost of the Lord's house. In her deep anguish Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. And she made a vow, saying, Lord Almighty, if you will only look on your servant's misery and remember me, and not forget your servant but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life, and no razor will ever be used on his head. For those who are unfamiliar with Anna's story, I will briefly explain. Anna was a barren woman. Anna's greatest dream was to conceive. To be a mother. Unable to bear a child, Anna felt ashamed. In those times, the more women gave birth, the more they were honored. Therefore, a woman unable to conceive felt sad, dejected, and humiliated. And the Bible tells us that for many years, Anna lived through this. And there was a woman, named Penina, who bore children for her husband. Year after year, this was depressing Anna. And Penina always tormented Anna with this. But Anna never said anything. One day, Anna told herself that she needed to place that situation in God's hands. And that's what she did. Anna presented herself before the Lord, began to cry and pray, and made a vow with God. If God were to give her a son, she would give him to God. Her son would be the Lord's servant, a prophet. And God granted Anna's heart's desire. She conceived and had her son. I want to declare at this moment that there will be a turning point in your life. Those who saw you sad, dejected, head hung low will witness a transformation in your life. A turnaround. Your secret is to cling to God in a way you've never done before. While Anna only wept, lamented, nothing happened. But when Anna began to cling to God, prayed from her heart, God remembered her. May today be like that day for Anna. May God remember you. May today, what represents sadness, tears, and anguish, God come to change your fortune. And may you have a great testimony to share. Do you believe? Do you take possession? 
I want to pray for you today, declaring that there will be a turning point in your life. Shall we pray? Lord, on this day, in your presence, I want to declare that your daughter will be more than a conqueror. Your son will be more than a conqueror. In the area of shame, in the struggle, tears, humiliation, Lord, you will bring double honor. You will bring victory. Lord, I ask that you touch the life of each child who is here with me in prayer. And all who enter here at any moment. Remove, my Father, every affront from the enemy. Help, my Father, your children to overcome every difficult moment. Lord, bring victory. I believe and prophesy that the testimony of your children will be told here, for the honor and glory of your name, Lord. Receive, Lord, the requests of each of your children who so desperately need a miracle. That at this moment, in prayer, clinging to you, we can obtain from the Lord the victory, the grace we so desperately need. From today on, may your children cling to the Lord as Anna did. With total faith and dedication, in prayer. Persevering. And thus, the Lord will bring a turning point in our lives. A new time. A time of double honor and victory. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Pray with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Thank God.